Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on invariant points. Uh, so first of all, what is an invariant point? Well, an invariant point uh, is just a point on a shape that does not move when you perform one of the four transformations. Uh, so let's draw a rectangle here. Uh, and so we wanted to rotate this rectangle about the point negative three, two. So that's our center of rotation. Uh, well, the resulting shape would look like this. So I'm going to draw it in blue so you can see the difference. Uh, okay, so let's look at what's happened to each of the individual points. Uh, so the easiest one to look at is this one that's furthest away. Uh, so that's now ended up down here. Uh, the one in the bottom left has now ended up here. And the one in the top right has now ended up here. Uh, now you could do the same thing with tracing paper. Uh, you should end up with the same shape. Uh, but as you can see, this point here hasn't moved. So this bottom right corner of the shape has stayed where it is. Uh, that's because we used it as the center of rotation. Uh, so we can say that there's an invariant point at negative three, two. Uh, so that's if we do a rotation. What about if we have a reflection? So I'll draw a triangle now. Uh, now let's imagine we wanted to uh, reflect this triangle in the line y equals zero. So the line y equals zero is this line here, which is the x axis. Uh, so if we reflected this shape, uh, the result would look like this. Uh, and once again, you can see that there's an invariant point, and this time it's the point 3, 0. So let's take a look at an example now. Uh, state the coordinates of any invariant points when shape A is reflected in the line x equals 1. Uh, well, let's first of all draw the line x equals 1. Uh, so x equals 1 is here. Uh, so in the line x equals 1, all of the x coordinates are 1. Okay, and then if we reflect the shape, uh, let's do it point by point. Uh, so here this top point is 1 square away, so it'll end up 1 square away on the other side of the line. And this square here, sorry, this point is 2 squares away, so it'll end up 2 squares away here. And this one is on the line, so it'll end up on the line again. If we connect the dots, uh, we can see that there's an invariant point here. Uh, so that's at the point 1, 1. So let's take a look at a second example now. So perform the following operations to shape A in the given order, giving the coordinates of any invariant points. Uh, so the first one, rotate 180 degrees about the point 1, 0. So let's just mark the point 1, 0 there. And then we have to translate it by the vector 2, 2. Uh, but first we'll do the rotation. Uh, so here I'm going to do it point by point because I don't have any tracing paper. Uh, so for this corner of the shape here, it's diagonally one square across from the center of rotation. So it'll end up the same distance away uh, when we rotate it 180 degrees. Okay, and then we'll do the top right corner of shape A. Uh, so that's two squares up uh, and it's three squares along from the center of rotation. Uh, so it'll be two squares down and th three squares along in the opposite direction when we do the rotation. And then finally, for the bottom right, uh, we can see that it's just three squares from the center of rotation. So it'll be three squares from the center of rotation in the other direction when we do a 180 degrees rotation. Okay, so let's join the points. Uh, so our sort of intermediate step, if you like, uh, gives us this shape here. Uh, now I'm just going to rub out some of these things here just for clarity. Okay, uh, so the second step then is to translate by the vector 2, 2. Uh, so that's 2 in the positive x direction, which is to the right, and 2 in the positive y direction, which is upwards. Uh, so if we go 2 to the right and 2 upwards, uh, we'll do that point by point. So this point here, going 2 to the right, will end up here. Uh, this one here, and 2 upwards, sorry, this one here in the top left, going 2 to the right and 2 upwards end up here and the final point will end up here so the resulting shape will look like this and as you can see there's an invariant point here and that is at 2 1 so if you'd like to have a practice at some exam style questions then we do have an online exam which is available through our revision platform uh, so if you take the test you'll find a number of different questions a variety of different question types so some will be multiple choice some will require you to put an answer straight in there 
Uh, so you'll get instant feedback on each and every question, which will really be useful if you want to keep track of the areas that you're weakest at, and it's really useful if you want to improve at these weak areas. Uh, so if you're interested, then you can click the link below and it'll take you straight there.